All right, today on the Cabal Cast, we're going to be in Command and Conquer 3 Kings. We're about to do a one versus one video commentary today. Uh, this game is sent to me by request, and it features two players, the Fresh Prince, playing as the GDI Forces, against uh, Paradise, playing as Reaper 17. So yeah, um, not a good whole lot of replays on the replay system right now. Um, I just happened to get this replay sent to me, and uh, hopefully it's going to be a good one. We have three observers here, uh, New Bash, Wanted, Learn Flameheart, and Rain Man. All right, so the, here we go. So on the uh, right side here, we see green. This is the Fresh Prince, a.k.a. the uh, Avatar LRT, or uh, Lort, or however you pronounce his name. He's playing as the Green GDI Forces. And on the left side, head map here, we see Paradise is playing as the uh, Blue Reaper 17. So Paradise is his main account. I haven't seen this uh, player before, but apparently he's quite decent. I know who uh, the Fresh Prince is. I used to play uh, a little bit of 2v2 with him back in the day, and he used to be a very good 1v1 player. He play used to play a lot of Black Hand, um, as I remember, and then he just switched to uh, the GDI Forces because he knows he can be a lot better with that. Uh, we see a Engineer Squad coming out, uh, coupled with, coupled with uh, two Ruffman Squads as well. Uh, we see one going down the center, and then a Buzzer Squad from Paradise is going to the top half of the map here. He's also going with some uh, Disintegrator Squads, so he's trying to fake, uh, fake out that he's uh, Traveler 59. I'm not sure if uh, Paradise chose his faction. I think he did. But, um, yeah, he's going to go for some Discriminator Squads, and, Parad and Paradise is going to be spotted by the Refinement Squads. So he, so uh, Avatar knows, I should probably call him the Fresh Prince, knows that uh, there are some Discriminators coming, and he's probably going to be building some APCs and or Watchtowers to protect his base. Uh, we see three Buzzer Squads going through the uh, bottom half of the map near this uh, blue Tiburon field. Nobody's gone for the bottom of Spikes, so those are going to be very valuable uh, towards the mid part to late part of the game. Uh, the Buzzer Squads are going to go straight towards the Tip Spike here. They're probably going to be splitting up to make sure that Avatar is not going to be looking for any of the uh, Disneyer Squads. But we do see the APC coming out with the single uh, Refment Squad. Uh, he should not go out like that because he should probably have at least two or three APCs together to deal with those Disneyer Squads. But they got to be careful that uh, he doesn't take out the tip spike, which I think he will. So Paradise is going to be uh, destroying the tip spike unless uh, the Fresh Prince can bring his APC in and uh, do some little damage. The Reckon Squads have quite the distance when they're in the, in the APC, surprisingly. And they do snipe one of the uh, Dissinger Squads out. And I think the squads will definitely take out the tip spike, which means Avatar, or Fresh Prince, is not going to be uh, getting any more tiber from that uh, tip spike. And his uh, MCV is going to be packing up. I think he was going to be going for that blue tip field, but I think he changed his mind and went down to do this uh, green tip field right here. Paradise, meanwhile, has got uh, three and two in his field. He needs uh, two more to make a perfect ratio. He's probably going to build one more harvester to go for the blue tip field, which is obviously very smart. Uh, Fresh Prince has got uh, his uh, construction yard out again, and he built up another power plant because you need two power plants for GDI to make uh, all power operations going. Uh, Fresh Prince has got uh, five harvesters in this field, which is the perfect ratio. And what, what is he going to build now? He's building some Pipples scouts. Looks like he's going to go straight for Pipples and doing a little bit of um, harvester harassment towards it. Uh, shielded harvesters are going to the uh, green, or the blue tiburn field, so Paradise is going to be on top of things. I'm not sure if uh, Pr Fresh Prince is going to be uh, going uh, and uh, denying that. He's actually going to go get some blue tip himself, actually, so uh, that's going to be very nice. Although that Paradise is beaten to the punch, he's going to get a, a full load of blue tip, but he's going to be careful that those uh, pit bulls don't take care of that uh, shielded harvester. Paradise needs to bring a couple of secret tanks or shot walkers to deal with those uh, two pit bulls. But with the shielded harvester, it should be fine. I mean, um, I think Fresh Prince is not going to notice that there's a harvester there getting some blue tip. Actually, now he, fin he figures it out. So now the pit bulls are going to be coming in. And that harvester has just... Oh, it's not quite full. But yeah, yeah, he is a harvester. He's going to be under attack now. And I think Fresh Prince is definitely going to commit to this The uh, for the pit bull squads. There's a uh, Foxwell coming in now. But uh, this is going to be very close. I think uh, Fresh Prince is going to be... Uh, destroying this shit harvester is going to be very close, but there's secret tanks reinforcing this uh, harvester here. Oh, and that harvester screwed up. Oh, it went backwards. And uh, unfortunately, he's going to lose that shielded harvester. One more shot from that pit bull squad is going to take out that blue tip harvester. Oh, that was good there. That was good. Uh, a commitment there by Fresh Prince taking out that shielded harvester with the full little blue tip. So that means Paradise is not going to get in on that blue tip, which is which sucks. And I'm not sure how much blue tip uh, Fresh Prince got. Oh, Fresh Prince got a full load of blue tips, so that means he's going to be re reeking the benefits. Uh, we see a command post coming out here from Fresh Prince. He's, does, he's not upgrading AP ammo just yet. He's got a barracks also, probably for some infantry. Um, he's, he sees some Predator tanks coming out from the War Factory. So he's going very GDI uh, standard build order. Uh, Paradise, meanwhile, is just uh, building up some secret tanks from his uh, Warp Sphere. He's trying to get back his economy because he lost a Harvester and a full load of blue tip. He's got uh, Tier 2 Nerf Center as well, so... Probably going to be teching up quite quickly to get his most powerful units. That's what Reaper 17 is known for. Uh, most powerful 2-3 uh, units like Reaper Tripods with a lot of upgrades and blue shards and stuff like that. 
super good uh, faction to play with. I love playing a Reaper 17. It's a powerhouse faction. Uh, Fresh Prince has got the blue, uh, the uh, the tip spikes down the, uh, the bottom here. So that's going to be very good. So now he's at two tip spikes, two uh, paradise is one. So that's going to be very good. He's also mined uh, fielding uh, this little area right here just in case um, paradise wants to bring in a couple of simulators to capture the tip spikes. Uh, Secret Tanks have been going to the bottom half of the map here where Fresh Prince doesn't have a whole lot of base defenses actually here. Um, he only has... Uh, just the one, one watchtower. He's been teching up, so that's why uh, he doesn't have any force on here. He may may lose one of his harvesters because he got glitched inside that to refinery, which is pretty good. He's also dropped down the lightning spike as well, paradise to take care of that one harvester. So that means that uh, Fresh Prince is down two harvesters, and that's not good because uh, he needs uh, he placed on another refinery. He should have probably waited until he destroyed all these secret tanks because then he's probably going to lose another harvester. But uh, these secret tanks are pretty much almost dead. Like three of them are in the red, uh, four are in the red. And um, one, a couple shots from the Predator Tanks will definitely take him out. But I think uh, Predator has done the damage he needed to. He could probably save his uh, Secret Tanks and get him back to base for repairs. Uh, what's happening up there? We see a uh, couple of uh, random units in here in the base of a pa uh, Paradise. One single Pitbull and an APC. But uh, that Shield Harvester is going to gain a lot of repairs. So I'm not sure if it's going to get destroyed. Paradise needs to build something out of a Warp Server to take out these two... Uh, uh, vehicles here, and I'm not sure what he's going to be doing. Not, uh, minefield has been uh, dropped off here. This could be a, a, it could be a Reaper tripod, and the mines do go off. They do a little bit of damage to that to sh Reaper uh, that shield harvester. But here come the Reaper tripods, and they do have the conversion reserves and the force field. So uh, Paradise is doing a lot of upgrades, and that's very good. It's the first time in a while I've actually seen conversion reserves being researched, and that was my phone. I'm sorry. Uh, it's my YouTube channel. People are posting on my channel already. Uh, we see two more Reaper tripods coming out, actually, from uh, Paradise, and he's going to be going in for the blue tip. It's kind of funny to me how when you absorb Tiberium in the blue tip field, it still comes out as green. That's a little bit weird to me, but uh, apparently that's what you can do. Uh, a couple of Predator tanks. Oh, Fresh Prince has got the rail guns, so he's going to be going commitment to Predator tanks or Mammoth tanks coming out now. So this is going to be a very high tier uh, level game, and I'm actually excited for to see what's going to happen here. Although, Fresh Prince is going to have a little bit of trouble against Paradise's uh, Reaper tripod, especially when they're charged up like that, so he has to be very careful. Those two Predator tanks from the bottom half of the map here from, Par from uh, uh, Fresh Prince are going to do a little bit of Harvester harassment. There's no... Uh, uh, defense here whatsoever. Uh, I'm not sure if Paradise group selecting all his forces. He's gone to the top half of the field here where he sees two mammoth tanks here with rail guns. And unfortunately, Ripper, that uh, shielded uh, Ripper, Reaper tripod is definitely going to get destroyed before he even gets charged. So these tripods need to um, go in and help out that uh, uh, drone platform. In the meantime, Paradise is um, going to be going for to get some blue tip with his harvesters, and that's going to be very good. Those two um, Predator tanks are going to be coming in and doing a little bit of Harvester Harassment as well. Two shots do a ton of damage to that to Shield Harvester. He needs that one Reaper Tripod to um, come in and destroy those Predator Tanks, but he doesn't have anything available to take him out, and that's going to be very disastrous. Um, Harvester's taking a little bit of damage. I'm not sure if there was a refinery there. I think there was. But now uh, the Drip Hopper is being under attack now. Where that, where's those um, Tree Reaper Tripods? I think they were trying to destroy something. I'm not sure what. But oh no, that uh, MCV is going to be under attack. It's going to be under attack, and uh, Fresh Prince is going to lose his MCV. Oh no, it's going to get crushed. Ah. That's unfortunate there, but uh, but uh, Paradise is going to lose his drone platform too. So both players are out of uh, out of uh, building queues. That's unfortunate there. Paradise is going to be moving in with his Reaper tripods, but they're going to be surrounded by a bunch of mammoth tanks. And uh, more reinforcements are coming in with his Reaper tripods, but there's a lot of mammoth tanks. There's a lot of rail weaponry here from Fresh Prince, so he's going to be doing pretty good out there. But unfortunately, with those uh, Reaper tripods, they're charged up by that. They're just going to massac They're going to get massacred. Everything. Everything's going to get destroyed, and a lot of um, harvesters here are just going to get uh, destroyed by the two Predator tanks. One of them is a uh, veteran, which is very unfortunate. Uh, these two Mammoth tanks here are just destroying the rest of these um, trooper, uh, Reaper tripods. I think he sh called in Shockwave Artillery, so that's going to be very good. Shut down those Reaper tripods, but then he phased them, so that's going to be very good. Uh, these two husks here are primed for the taking for uh, Fresh Prince as soon as he can get a uh, MCV out and then, get a, and then get a barracks. So he's probably going to be um, saving those. And these Ripper tripods, hopefully they can get out of they can get out of uh, get back to base for repairs before they can get out of phase. Those two harvesters have been stealing up the blue tip all this time, and that's gonna be very very good. Uh, Zone Trooper drop pod coming in, destroying a power plant. So uh, Fresh Prince is doing whatever he can to keep uh, Paradise in his base. And if he can take out these two production structures, then that's gonna be GG for Paradise. And I think that's exactly what he's gonna do. Um, this warp sphere is. Um, Getting uh, absolutely destroyed. Oh, we see a bunch of support power coming in, and that does a lot of damage to those uh, zone troopers. And uh, he did manage to take out the portal, or the warp sphere, I should say. And uh, those, those two zone troopers are going to get destroyed, and that one zone trooper that's elite is going to be uh, uh, getting it back to base. 
Uh, more zone troopers coming in from uh, Fresh Prince. He has an army here of uh, Railgun Mammoth tanks. And they're going to be coming up against Reaper Tripods, but they're going to be out of position. Uh, Fre Paradise has the better position here for this, with his uh, Reaper Tripods, and they're just going to get uh, destroyed. Three Mammoth tanks destroyed, I guess, right necessarily. But now he has to deal with these uh, zone troopers now. And exactly what the Shard Walkers are going to be doing. Those Shard Walkers destroy zone troopers. And uh, both zone troopers are going to be destroyed. And Paradise now is going to be pushing in. He's going to take out the rest of these uh, Mammoth tanks and zone troopers. That's the force gone from Fresh Prince, and I'm not sure if he invested in another MCV. I don't see one on the map here. Oh yeah, he, there's it. There is another MCV on the map. He has an engineer here. I think that was uh, for to capture one of the husks. He did manage to capture one husk, but I think one may have got destroyed. Oh no, there's one right here that he can definitely take now. Uh, Fresh Prince has got to has um, got to get another force up because there is quite a bit of a firepower here from Paradise that's going to be uh, destroying his base if he doesn't do anything fast. Um, these two uh, tri uh, Reaper Tripod Husks here are prime for the taking, but unfortunately Paradise only has one Warp Sphere, so that's the only thing that's going to be powering up his base for uh, for production. And uh, Fresh Prince right now, he has got a barracks, two barracks actually, and he's going to go for some Zone Troopers. So that's going to be very good. Um, although there's a lot of uh, uh, shard walk oh there's a shard walkers with the blue shards that's very nice and here comes the uh armada of salt here by uh, paradise takes out that uh, tripod immediately and then follows it up with destroying another mammoth tank and then another mammoth tank may have go down these uh blue shards uh blue sharded uh shard walkers are going to be doing wonders against these uh, zone troopers so zone troopers for uh, fresh prince is not going to be viable he has to have something else and the only thing he can build is mammoth tanks he could go for a myrf i think but he has, needs to have a lot of support for this type of thing and he can't go for aircraft because of the shard, blue sharded uh, shard walker is just going to get massacred everything. Uh, these two uh, Reaper Tribots are coming in, but unfortunately Fresh Prince has got some reinforcements with his Mammoth tanks coming in. And he's going to be phasing them, which is very, very smart to get these uh, back for base repairs. Unfortunately, those two uh, shard walkers aren't going to be so lucky. They're going to get destroyed. And uh, Fresh Prince is going to be pushing the force back to Paradise's base. Paradise is going to get some more Tiberium. If he had a barracks, he could probably capture the uh, tip spikes, but unfortunately, he's just down to one portal. Uh, he needs to keep his technology assembler and his tier 2 up so that he can keep building more tripods. I'm not sure what Fresh Prince is doing here. He placed a refinery way back here. He needs to, he needs to uh, get closer to uh, this green tip infield here so he can harvest it. Paradise has got to have this. He has to make this last attack work. Otherwise, uh, Fresh Prince is going to have too many forces, too many fast and uh, too many force, too many fast. That was a good, that was a good analogy. Um, he's gonna be throwing on Echor Seed to uh, charge his Reaper Tripods up with his, which is very smart because then he can go in immediately after this attack. Uh, we see a Vox transport coming in, and that's just for scouting purposes from the Fresh Prince, which is a very smart idea. He has an airfield, so that's gonna be very. He's probably gonna go for some uh, Orcas. Orcas are gonna be coming in, and that's gonna be very good. Paradise is gonna be charging up his Reaper Tripods, and uh, he's gonna be going in for an attack very, very soon. He could. Uh, wait till he get his uh, Reaper Tripods to full health and then get his uh, shields up. But uh, I'm not sure if he's going to wait. I think he's going to be going for an attack now. Uh, that uh, Vioxx Transport is going to be going in. And uh, Paradise is going to be ju just going to be gripping up his Reaper Tripods. I think he has the opportunity to take out Fresh Prince's forces. If he's lucky, uh, Fresh Prince is going to be base creeping with his refinery. So he's just holding, trying to hold strong. I'm not sure if he has a uh, tier 3 structure queued. He, he doesn't have one, so he's going to be just attacking the harvesters. And the harvesters, one harvester will go down, which means that Paradise has full control over this uh, force right here. And he should probably recharge all his Reaper Tripods to full health, even though he has conversion reserves, which will just, just decimate everything. And now Fresh Prince is going to be losing one of his refineries, which sucks. He sells it for 100 bucks. And uh, yeah, he's just trying to group up all his forces. But unfortunately, he's losing all of his harvesters, all of his, uh, all of his uh, mining operations. So which which is not too good, and more reinforcements from uh, Paradise is going to come from the back side of things. And now that Mammoth Tank is in the middle of nowhere, and here comes Paradise. Paradise is pushing in with his Riper Tripod Force, and they take out the airfield, take out the new Mammoth Tank and the other uh, tripod here, and they're just going to be destroying everything. They need to get closer so they can throw off the automatic imp, and the imp is going to be huge for uh, for him as well. Paradise is losing, uh, Paradise is destroying all of uh, Fresh Prince's stuff, and all the Mammoth Tanks are just not viable. They just, they can't do good against these uh, Reaper Tripods. They need something else because uh, Reaper Tripods, because they're so clumsy when they're just attacking like that. And Fresh Prince lost all of his forces right there. Paradise, with just one uh, Warp Sphere, has managed to take out the rest of uh, Fresh Prince's stuff. Fresh Prince is bringing in another Mam Mammoth Tank, but that's not going to do anything against uh, five uh, Reaper Tripods. And there goes the War Factory. There goes the MCV. Uh, Fresh Prince just has one War Factory left, and I'm not sure how much uh, economy he has. He has three on one on this field, which, which means he could still mine, 
but uh, he actually has another couple uh, stuff up there as well. So uh, he needs to be careful that these trooper trap hus husks don't get captured eventually. But I think it's going to be too late. Um, Paradise is moving in with his Reaper tripod force, and they're going to take out the rest of uh, Fresh Prince's stuff. Fresh Prince, only, the only thing he can do is build Nama tanks, but I don't think he has enough time to build up um, enough to take what... Um, what Paradise has. Paradise has way too many uh, Reaper tripods, and I think they're probably going to charge up against this one tip crystal suit so that uh, they can th decimate the rest of Fresh Prince's stuff. Fresh Prince is not even grouping up his Mama tanks. He's just, uh, yeah, there we go. Fresh, Fresh, Prince defeated. Fresh Prince has been defeated. So, not too bad of a game. Um, yeah, Paradise lost uh, quite a bit of his uh, forces and his construction operations and did manage to come back and destroy Fresh Prince, but Fresh Prince just did not have the forces available to take care of Paradise's Reaper tripods, which is which unfortunate. So units is you can take a look at units graph, structures you can take a look at the structures, uh, resources, uh, Fresh Prince at the most, uh, we see 126,726 to Fresh Prince, 116,579 to Paradise, so that's an extra uh, 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 10,000 in favor of uh, Fresh Prince. Okay, so here's your game on Tournament Rift. My name is Cabal, and I'll see you guys all next time.